reconvene the session for August 17th, 2020. Would you like me to go ahead and start the resolution? Yes, please uh, read the resolution to open the hearing for River by. Resolution number 20-710, 10 a.m. public hearing for sanitary sewer improvements for River by Estates subdivision and condos at Riverby. So moved. Second. Discussion, vote. Vote on motion 20-710. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Benton? Aye. Resolution number 20-711, in the matter of approving for a specific occurrence, a suspension of rule three speaker registration, rule four limitations, rule seven public comment procedures from the rules governing public comment before the Board of County Commissioners of Delaware County, Ohio. So move. Second. Discussion, vote. Vote on motion 20-711, Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Mr. Benton? Aye. Okay, with the, those two resolutions, we have now opened the hearing um, for virtual, we've opened the virtual public hearing on the River by Estate subdivision and condos at River by Sanitary Sewer Improvements. Uh, today is August 17th, 2020. Um, this is the Delaware County Board of Commissioners. I'm Jeff Benton, president of the board. To my right is our vice president, Gary Merrill. To my left is fellow commissioner, Barb Lewis, Jennifer Walraven, is uh, running the meeting today. And we have on hand also the, the uh, commissioner's legal counsel, Eric Hostetler. So with that, I will read through uh, the, the process, the procedure that we will have today so that everyone who is on this call will understand the process. Um, so I'd like to welcome everyone to the hearing for the consideration of the River by Estate subdivision and condos at River by Sanitary Sewer Improvements. Uh, for the health, safety, and well-being of county residents in response to the continued threat of COVID-19 and in accordance with orders of the Ohio Director of Health, public participation in this hearing will be by virtual means. We have held only a couple of these virtual hearings, and this may be new for you, so we ask for your patience as we work our way together through this hearing. Um, again, we, the original, the initial session, general session of the Board of Commissioners ran a little long, so that's why we got a little bit of a late start this morning, but again, appreciate everyone's patience. Um, currently, we are muting the participants on the Zoom platform and ask that you stay unmuted until we identify you, and this will help with static and audio interference. For those of you who have been participating in Zoom meetings and other uh, online meetings, you know that uh, it can be very distracting and difficult to hear if uh, we don't have people muted. So thank you for your cooperation on that. As a review, the proposed improvements will include the installation of a sanitary sewer main to connect the existing sanitary sewers within the River Bay Estate Subdivision and condos at River Bay to the city of Delaware's sanitary sewer system. The board will acknowledge receipt of written endorsements of or objections to the proposed improvements the tentative assessments or the boundaries of the assessment district that we have received so far, written endorsements of or objections to the proposed improvements, the tentative assessments or the boundaries of the assessment district may, be, may continue to be filed up through five days following the close of this hearing in accordance with re, uh, revised code 6117.06E. Um, again, that's important to note, you, after this hearing, you still have five business days to file um, uh, objections or endorsements. And that would be through next Monday at 4.30, Jennifer, I think. So Monday the 27th, no, the 24th, 24th, Monday, August 24th at 4.30. We can, and they have to be in written form submitted here at 101 North Sandusky by Monday, August 24th at 4.30. Okay, just make sure everyone understands that. Um, after questions, there will be time for testimony from landowners. During the testimony, you will be asked to take an oath. Those speaking for or against the project must either be an owner or an attorney speaking on behalf of an owner. When it's time to offer testimony, we will work our way through the participants on the Zoom platform and call. You may at first be identified by your phone number as the participant who is up next to offer testimony. Your line connection will be unmuted and you will be asked to identify yourself and if you wish to testify. You don't have to testify, we just wanna make sure everyone does have the chance to if they want to. Typically we hear from all those in favor and then all those against, but this might not work in this virtual situation. So please confirm if you are endorsing or objecting to the 
proposed improvements. Testimony will continue if new information comes up or additional people wish to speak. After testimony, the board will close the public hearing or the board may also continue the hearing to another date. Resolutions for the commissioners to consider the project improvement, filed objections and filed deferments will be addressed at a yet to be determined date. Um, so with that, um, we will open it up for Jennifer to read. <laughs> I do have one thing that we need to acknowledge before we open up for testimony. Okay. Um, we have had a um, one of our parcels that is has their own um, septic system, so they are not to be included in the assessment. Um, it is from Blaine and Trista at 1191 Pollock Road, and the City of Delaware's Utility Director um, and Mr. Webb have confirmed that with our staff attorney. Okay. That parcel was included in the original mailings and really should not have been since they're not being included in the sewer system that's being installed Correct. and therefore not subject to the assessment. They have their own septic system. So their unique situation, we're pulling them out. Um, okay. Um, okay. With that, um, I don't know if uh, we don't really have anyone who wants to walk through the or do a presentation on this um, the sewer installation and assessments. I assume Mike and nothing. So the material we've received is is everything. There, there's no additional testimony or, or input from the people who prepared the reports. We've read the reports. Um, so now we can just go on to the testimony. Correct. So I think that's the next step. Then we will open it up to testimony from participants on the virtual call. And um, our clerk, Sarah DeNova, is uh, running this part of the meeting. So Sarah, I will turn it over to you to open it up for testimony. Again, we'll go through the people, we'll go through the list of the people who have called in, participating in the call. You do not have to testify. If you do want to, we'll swear you in and you can testify. Yes, um, I don't really need to testify in order of two lots. I'm sorry, wait, I'm sorry. Can you hang on just a second, sir? Uh, uh, we're having a hard time hearing you. I don't know. We're sorry about that. Can you hear me now? Um, try, say something again, please. Can you, uh, can you hear me, please? Can you? Yeah. Yes, we can hear you now. Okay. Um, okay. Let me, I need to swear you in. Sure. If you want to testify, did you want to testify? Uh, I'm not going to testify. I just endorse, I support the, um, the, uh, the same for two improvements. Yeah, wait a it's, it's really choppy. I'm sorry, sir. We've got a bad connection, I think. I think he said he wants to support it, but I guess he still needed to yeah, we'll, swear we'll, him in. Yeah, we'll swear you in. Um, okay, I'll read you the oath, and then if you can state your name and address. Do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Okay, if you can give us your name and address, please. My name is David Adrian. I'm with Riverbike Development Company, uh, 583 oh, First Street Court. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting like every other word. Um, <laughs> uh, 583. Church Court. Again. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Is he on a cell? Are you on a cell phone or on a uh, computer connection? I'm, I'm sorry, there's a problem. I haven't had a problem before. Can't even hear him. Yeah, I can't. I can't make out enough to. Um, is, is there another way you could you could dial in or call back? Call back. We're getting really choppy connection. We can't really understand you, sir. Okay, we'll we'll move on to the next one and then give you an opportunity uh, in a bit to to speak again. Okay. Thank you. Okay, next one, Sarah. Kevin's iPad. Kevin's iPad. Yes. Okay. Um, this is so we're opening it up to Kevin's iPad. Yes, this is uh, Kevin Hennessy, Delaware Township trustee. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, Kevin. I have no testify. I know I'm not a landowner. I just wanted to uh, 
uh, follow the hearing today. Okay. All right. Very good. Thank you, Kevin. Uh, next call. Mark C. Mark. How do you spell it? C? Just yes. This is Mark, Mark Chambers. Mark Chambers. Okay. Yes. And I have Chambers Contracting Inc. and I am the property owner of the two vacant parcels in the condominiums at Riverby. Okay. Did you wish to testify, sir? Uh, testify in favor of. Okay. Let me swear you in, if you would, please. Do you solemnly swear the testimony you're about to give is the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help you God? I do. Okay, Mr. Chambers, you can proceed. Uh, yes, I just wanted to say I am strongly in favor of moving forward with this. Um, see nothing but the betterment for the uh, property owners and for uh, the township and the county, et cetera. So, okay. I just heartily endorse it. Okay, thank you very much. We'll move on to the next one then, sir. Thank you. Call in user one. Call in user one. Is there a person who's being identified by that ID? It's a phone call in, so it's on a phone. No phone number? Okay. Yeah, can you hear me now? This is David. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, much better. Um, yeah. And it, yes, did you wish to testify, sir? Uh, yeah, I just want to endorse it. I support the, uh, so yes, I'll. Okay, let me let me swear you in then, please. Do you solemnly sure. swear a testimony we're about to give us the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so if you got. I do. Okay, if you could identify, again, give us your name and your street number or street address. Yes, uh, my name is David Adrian. Uh, I'm with Riverby Development Company, and uh, we have two parcels, one at 583 Churchview Court, and the other one is at the end, the 10-acre uh, parcel at end of uh, Riverby Lane. Okay. And uh, yes, I just uh, really support this. I think it'll be great for the community. Okay. All right, thank you, Sarah. That's, that's everybody. Okay, we do have, there's one, one call that has been received that doesn't have a name or a phone number, um, but we wanna make sure we give them a chance. If, if you've dialed in and we've not asked you to participate, um, then we'll open up your line and you can participate and identify yourself. Caller is unmuted. They disconnected? They disconnected, sir? Okay. Okay. So that that is uh, all the all the callers have been given an opportunity to, to testify. Um, okay, so with that, we can now uh, open it up for questions. Commissioner Merrill, Commissioner Lewis, any additional questions? Uh, I don't have any questions. I think this is a great project for the, that community. I think the county and the finance authority being able to step forward and help them out is a benefit to uh, the taxpayers. And that's one of the roles we play as county commissioners is to try to find solutions. And I, I commend all those, including our Eric Hostetler, who've been involved in this and the finance authority for the work they've done on this. and. Uh, our ability to help this community out. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, this community clearly is in a tough spot and their, their septic system or their sewer system they have is, has, uh, is in declining condition and needs to be replaced and this is a good workable solution. Um, and the roads have already been addressed separately through the TID and um, that, that issue is resolved. So this would be the end of the sewer issue Although we do have five days, we'll, we'll, um, once this hearing is closed, so when we don't continue it, we have five days. Again, remind everyone, uh, there, there is a period of five days to submit written testimony to the Board of Commissioners at 101 North Sandusky um, in, in Delaware. Uh, by, and it has to be received by Monday, August 24th at 4.30 p.m. So if anybody wants to 
uh, testify that way. Uh, they, they still can do it until next Monday. So, um, with that, yeah, why don't we do that? We'll unmute everyone and just give everybody one last chance to speak if they have any additional comments they want to make. Uh, Kevin Hennessy here, Delaware Township Trustee. Yes, Kevin. Yes, I just want to uh, take a moment to thank the commissioners and the county staff for all their efforts on both this uh, sewer project and on the road project. Um, as you mentioned, this has been a challenge for the residents of our township um, for many years. And I think that the county has set a good precedent here with the finance authority and the efforts of the engineering departments and the cooperation with the, the sanitary sewer departments. Um, it's, it's a great example of many agencies and the leadership of the commissioners uh, working with the residents to find a solution. And I, I'm very pleased to see this coming to fruition. Um, it's been, been a long time coming, but um, we've been able to, the, the county has been able to step forward and, and solve this problem for our residents. And I think that's, you know, it's one of those things you can point to as government doing good things, right? And so I just want to take a moment and thank the commissioners for all your support over the years and your guidance to your departments and encouragement to your departments to join in on this. Um, it was an unusual request um, and kind of um, discovered new grounds for many of the departments to get involved. But I think the ultimate solution is a win-win for everyone involved. And I want to thank you for that. Great. Thank you, Kevin. I, I agree. As Commissioner Merrill said, and you said, um, uh, it, it really is a team project and there's been a whole bunch of people um, working on this very creative and uh, uh, forward thinking solution that we can uh, help this. This is a very nice subdivision. These people are, are really good people and they're just in a tough spot and we're glad we were able to figure out how to, how to get this done. Um, okay, so. I would just like yeah, to add too that uh, I totally agree with uh, Commissioner Merrill's comments and Kevin too. I think they were, there've been so many people working on this and, and appreciate all the collaboration from everyone. And uh, our council, Eric, uh, was, uh, was great in uh, finding a solution, uh, finance authority. So uh, thanks to everyone. And uh, boy, it, it's, it's a big step forward for uh, Riverbine. Okay, with that, um, well, yeah, anyone else? One, one last time? Okay, we will mute everyone then, and I guess the next step would be read the resolution to close the hearing. Resolution number 20-7112, in the matter of closing the public hearing to address the sanitary sewer improvements for River by Estates, Subdivision, and Condos River by. Second. Second. Discussion. Any additional discussion? I, I think we all agree there's no need to continue it. We've given ample opportunity for folks to participate, and they still, again, have until next Monday to submit written testimony if they wish to testify anything additional. Um, so, with that, this hearing is closed. Vote. Vote on motion 20 7112. Mr. Benton? Aye. Mr. Merrill? Aye. Mrs. Lewis? Aye. Okay. We are, the hearing is closed and um, we can cut off the virtual